from little-known West Country superstitions to a facet of the West Country which is renowned, its scenery. But this quaintest part of a country delighting in quaintness is always liable to surprise the visitor. Here at Newton Ferrers near Plymouth, for example, they boast Britain's only woman harbour master. Miss Agnes Russell is this unique lady's name, and as harbour master, or harbour mistress if you prefer, her domain stretches from above Newton Ferrers to the mouth of the River Yelm. How did she become First Lady of the River? Miss Russell simply applied for the job, advertised in a local paper, and got it, beating three men in the process. We should explain that Miss Russell's father was mad about boats, as she says, and that she has actually owned one since the age of 13. During the war, she was an Admiral's coxswain in the Wrens and later qualified as a port officer, someone who knows pretty well all there is to know about a river or harbour entrance. One of Miss Russell's voluntary duties is to deliver mail sent care of her to the pleasure yachts that dot the river. In her official capacity, she collects dues from visiting boats and, most important of all, inspects the laying and efficiency of moorings to satisfy the council engineer. When not working, Miss Russell, known affectionately by the yachtsman as Aggie, is probably sailing. She has now a fleet of three dinghies, Edelweiss, Time, which she's using now, and Rosebud. If she is not on the water, she is at the piano, having been a student of both piano and cello at the Royal Academy of Music. How many might like to get away from it all with a job like this? Of course, the elements here don't always contribute to this jolly boating weather, which is probably why Eaton doesn't need a harbour master.